Welcome back, adventurers. Hello, folks. So last year we saw a lot of people enjoying the buffet, and we thought that this year we need to join in on the fun. So we're going to hop in there and join the food fiesta. You already know there's going to be Mrs. Knott's chicken, boysenberry pies. It already sounds pretty delicious to me. Seriously, I and mean, there's a lot more food, plus we get to dine with some monsters, and we get early access into Scary Farm, so that's a big perk if you're ever considering buffet or coming to Scary Farm. So check it out, because you get some early access to those mazes we all want to go into. What are we waiting for? Let's hop in there, join us, and welcome to Dream Park. Depending on your reservation time, you're going to line up accordingly. This one is the 5 o'clock reservation time, and it goes a ways back, so make sure to get here early. The one on the right is your 5.30 reservation time, and it's currently 5.16, and our group still hasn't been checked in for the 5 o'clock reservation. They still have a lot to go, so that's something to keep in mind. If you do have a reservation, make sure to get here at least 45 minutes early if you want to check in close to your reservation time. It's going to be important to make sure you get all the food and your monster photo ops. And then as soon as you go through that security check, you scan your ticket for admission and you get a monster photo op. Check it out. This guy's looking extra scary. I don't know what's scarier, the masks or the fashion. I don't know. Ah, I got the secret entrance over here. Going a little backstage here, drops you off right into the Ghost Rider exit queue. And then they're directing us over to Spurs, so that's where we get to have our dinner for tonight, accompanied by some of Kenny's favorite monsters. Uh, yeah, those are my boys. Yeah, I'll text them later. We're supposed to meet up in the mazes. And normally, right here is the way you would take to go to those backstage mazes, like last year, Paranormal Inc., which is not here, the Depths, Foreign Entities, or something Entities. But now we have the new one, Bloodline. It's gonna be back here, so that's what you get early access to before everyone else comes into the park at seven. But let's grub, that's what we're here for. There you go. Never been to Spurs before, and first impressions is that there's a lot of monsters, a lot of strange characters running around, if you know what I mean. Well, I hear there's Takis mac and cheese, and you know, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. Um, any, anything a little bit more like rotten or like dead? Rotten? Well, is it a dietary thing to do? You have the doctor, we can talk about that. Wrong with this table? Um, yeah, you're not at it, so that's what's wrong. No, I'm right here at it. You guys just don't have any food. Go eat! A, a morsel of everything. I expect three plates out of you. Three? All of you. That's it? And dessert. Wait, what? Hey. Is it really your birthday? Where's the birthday cake? Right over there. Birthday cake? Yep. I want candles too. Well, I can't help you with that. Mm. Does it look like I work here? Um, a little bit. You got the attire. Nope. Oh, what bad service? What service is this? So we got a stack of plates over here with all of your silverware. Everything is disposable, so it's not that fancy. Don't worry about it. You can get a little messy. And then we have a generous selection of all kinds of food. Here we have some salads, along with all the hot items in the middle. We'll go, go over those in a second. To the left is your carving station and your bread, some other choices. To the right is probably going to be everyone's favorite section all of the fancy desserts. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We gotta start with the salads. Something to offset all the decadent stuff. So we got some, I don't know, chicken wings or are these like cauliflower wings with barbecue sauce and buffalo sauce. Try, try a couple of those. And then these ones are the sweet and spicy cauliflower bites. You know we gotta try a little bit of everything, so we'll just, uh, we'll get two of those. It's a buffet, you gotta try everything. And then this is the fried chicken. I'm not a fan of that, so it's there if you want it. Not for me. And they're restocking it fresh. Look at that. Wow. Take your pick. 
But right next to it is the Takis mac and cheese. I gotta try it because it's here, but I'm not, my expectations aren't too high. But the dead guy said I gotta try everything, so. Everything. We're gonna try everything, literally. You have a plate of food over there waiting for you. Mine's right here. Then why is he holding it? I'm helping him. Because I want extra food. Well, no, you gotta go get it yourself. Cheddar mashed potatoes. Okay, a little bit of cheddar mashed potatoes. Spiced pumpkin grits with brown butter. Sounds good, but there's no spoon. So let's come back to it. And this one is the sweet corn. Under that, sweet corn, marinara sauce, and mozzarella sticks. And we have bao buns right next to it. Matza sticks right here. You really gotta taste yourself, otherwise you're not gonna get to try everything, so. Boom. And then right here we got the bao buns with some Korean barbecue sauce. And let's throw one on there. And then if you want, you also got some warm buttermilk biscuits in here. I think the first side is good and We'll start with that. Kenny's uh, just skipping everything. He's just going straight for the Takis oh, mac and cheese. Wow. Is it Takis? I thought it was hot Cheetos. Bao buns! And if you're curious, then both sides are actually the same. So whether you go right or left, you're gonna get the same items served on each side. The only difference is gonna be the dessert on the far side and then all the carvings on this side, which is where Kenny's going. Sauce. Yes. I love drinking that stuff. Yeah, we got some roasted beef sirloin over here, looking mighty tasty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Straight from the graveyard. Of course. <laughs> Good appetite, too. <laughs> and then which one is over here? We have the pork uh, tenderloin. Yeah. Ooh. Holy smokes. With some Italian sausage and sauteed peppers over here. And then vegan sausage and sauerkraut. Awesome. Thank you. So there are a lot, a lot, a lot of options. Make sure to leave room and get what you want because you will fill up fast. Where are we starting first? We're heading straight to Carb City. Takis mac and cheese. I've never had that. I've only had Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. A little crunchy. The only issue with all the varieties, you don't know where to start. I'm gonna go with these uh, buffalo wings. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like Scooby-Doo. Andrew over here is not even skipping a beat. Look at all the chicken is gone. Second. Second with dessert right now. Meanwhile, this guy over here is not even eating. Hey, right, I'm editing. I'm eating. I think it's worth the price. Too much chicken going on over here, but it's worth it. All of a sudden, it just got really loud in here. Someone thought it was too quiet, as if the monsters yelling weren't enough, and they just bumped the music. But these cauliflower bites, these are bomb. What's that? This is my my sad mozzarella stick. The cheese isn't even melted. They really should have given you a steak knife for this sirloin and, and the tenderloin. Oh man. I gotta say, right off the bat, this sirloin tastes way better than the one at like, Storytellers or Goofy's Kitchen. It actually has flavor, so I'm digging this. Oh yeah. But the tenderloin, on the other hand, let's try it out. Equally as good. It's really good. A little on the tougher side. You really have to chew it, but it's okay. Because I got boysenberry punch to wash it all down. Now check out the bao bun. So I took a little bite. It's filled with like this, I don't know, like this pork meat. Has a little bit of sweetness to it. It would probably taste really good if you added the sauce, but definitely a must try if you're gonna come to the buffet. Mm. I feel so full of food though, we need to get dessert. Because that dessert table was loaded. I saw Kenny looking at it. I ate the food. That is only one plate. Quick, so hold on. There's. Two plates. That is only two plates. I said three. Now it's dessert. No, dessert's its own plate. What is it? I think um, it might be the pork. Wait, is it, is it, is it, what is it? Yeah, it's like the pork tenderloin. Okay, it's the coffee bowl. I wouldn't eat that. So at one point, there was a big dessert selection, but now we don't have much to choose from. 
I'm taking the biggest slice. That's all I care about. So over here you got some red conchas and there were some like other cookies over here, but they're gone. We're slowly getting replenished over here. A vanilla cake with some chocolate cake, assorted cheesecakes. And over here we got a couple varieties. There's like apple pie, rhubarb pie. Man, I also forgot we got the crab legs or the crab claws and the shrimp over here in the corner, so can't forget that. And the buffet is in full swing, so there's a lot to choose from. I thought the bao buns were really good, and the mac and cheese wasn't bad either. You know what this reminds me of? Actually reminds me of the cookie that they used for Knott's Merry Farm last year. Taste of Knott's Merry Farm, like two years ago? And they put all that ice cream on it. That looks like the cookie that they used, and it was delicious. That cookie was not delicious. That was hard, and my teeth still hurt. Ooh. I made sure to get the biggest and gooeyest slice. Look at that. Dripping out on the sides. And then underneath this, we got a chocolate cheesecake. Now we know Knott's don't mess with their boysenberry pie, so what are we waiting for? <laughs> oh, man. Eric's missing out. Hey, I don't like boysenberry, so I'm not missing out on much. More for me. This chocolate cheesecake, kind of want to give it a shot. Oh, not bad. Chocolatey. And the cookie? Needs ice cream. But it's not bad. What in the world is going on here? Fusion food. 2022, baby. That was really good. It's a soft cookie, too. So even better. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's gooey. You can never go wrong with boysenberry pie, you know? It's not. Oh, yeah. Solid. I mean, just look at this. It's like oozing out the sides. This is this is the stuff right here. Oh, man. Not boysenberry all day. Overall, it was a decent buffet. We had a reservation for 5 o'clock, but we got in a little late, so be sure to plan your meal ahead of time. We had gentlemen on the pre-scare dinner. I'm not saying get out. I'm just saying so you can eat faster. So be sure to plan ahead for your meal in order to get to the ceremony and to the mazes quicker. With that being said, a good selection of food, nothing gourmet, nothing too crazy, decent, but I'd rather go to Storytellers, pay an extra 10 bucks, and have a nice buffet there. Now it's time to get out of here before that dead guy comes back and harasses me and tells me to get another plate, because I can't do it. Thank you everyone for joining us for the buffet this evening. We're so glad that we made it out to it this year after missing out last year and it was totally worth it. Even though it was a little bit rushed and we didn't quite get in there on time for our reservation, it was still fun hanging out with friends. It was a nice addition to our Not Scary Farm event. Was it worth it for me? I don't know. But the food was all right. Food was solid, monster experience was solid. You get a photo op and you also get early access into Not Scary Farm. So I think all that makes the $45 worth it. And you get to hang out with Chris Rogers. Hi. <laughs> uh, guys, I just want to say uh, I love you guys. You guys are uh, amazing. And I hope you guys had a good time and you guys scream like I did, because Lord knows I did. We're all losing our sure. voices. That thousand percent. <laughs> Later, guys. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next Dream Park adventure. Good night. <laughs>